Live from Park Avenue in Rochester with more. Rebecca. So, Adam, since the state can revoke bar and restaurants' liquor licenses, some of the business owners we spoke to today say they really hope that customers comply with the rules. Elijah Wilton says he's ready to do everything he can to keep COVID-19 out of his business. We started taking people's temperature at the gate. Um, as we have the whole time been giving masks to anyone that doesn't have one and making sure that everyone's wearing their masks. Wilson got word from the health department this past week that someone was at the Rochester Beer Park who tested positive for COVID-19. They looked around and saw the systems that we had in place and they said we're doing everything right. But business owners are concerned about losing even more money because of shutdowns and losing their business altogether if they're stripped of their liquor licenses. People eating out today say they're being cautious. A little bit, honestly, yes, because, you know, you want to be safe and everything. You don't want to be out here and just be doing whatever because, you know, the, the repercussions could be severe. I, you know, give props to service workers because I know it's probably really hard for them. Um, but I think everybody's doing what they can and doing a really good job. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office told us all complaints that are received through New York Paws to our agency get rooted to the town, village, or city code enforcement officer that the complaint falls in. Local law enforcement still does not have enforcement ability. Meanwhile, Wilton says he's looking forward. I think everything that we have in place here uh, sets everyone up to be as safe as possible. So, Adam, we also reached out to the city of Rochester for comment to find out more about how that enforcement will work, but they declined to comment. For now, we are live on Park Avenue, Rebecca Fath, News 8.